Everyone has a dream. Just to call myself an Olympian. Marvin Kimball's dream started here on Milwaukee's north side. I knew he would be special. His mother. Marvin Kimball's wall of fame. Proud in every way. He was just like one of those extreme kids that did extreme stuff. <laughs> it hasn't sunk into me that he could be competing for the United States in the Olympics. She's a sweetheart and wants to see me succeed. This is the medal that he won. And it's the sacrifices by his mother, Carolyn, that already make this a success story. Not paying rent on time, not paying the energy bill on time. It was tough. Sometimes I didn't eat um, because, you know, money was low. Yes, Marvin. And she did all of it as a single mother. That's his dad in the black. After the death of Marvin's father when her son was just nine years old. It was kind of hard on him. He kind of took it hard. I think gymnastics helped him channel all the anger and the missing of his father. It's been a long journey and a lot of hours in the gym, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, a lot of blood. And Marvin realizes his success has a far greater impact than personal gain. Just to show everyone that from my neighborhood at least that it's possible for an African-American to get through this sport. Now he is one step away. So close that his dreams consume him. Last event's pommel horse and I'm the last guy to go and I slam a horse set and the team wins gold and we just go crazy. So I've been having that dream a lot. So we'll see how, how that becomes a reality. Everyone has a dream. And through all the struggles, it's priceless. Um, I would do it again. A mom and her son can dream together. Kimball is currently training for the U.S. Olympic trials at the end of June. If he does make the final roster, he would become the fourth Milwaukee area gymnast since 2000 to compete in the Olympic Games.